I think that's wonderful. Um, I have a nine-year-old son and I plan on getting him vaccinated as soon as it's approved. Health experts think kids as young as five could start getting COVID shots by Halloween. Brittany Thomason talked with parents and doctors about that news today. Today, Valley Wise Health Medical Center has two pediatric COVID cases. That's typical. A pediatrician here hopes as more younger children are able to get the vaccine, that number will drop to zero every day. Unvaccinated in the classroom. Some parents like Kelly Saunders worry about having their kids around so many people during a pandemic, especially when many are too young to be vaccinated. It's been such a source of anxiety for our family, sending the kids back to school unvaccinated. So I think it'll bring a lot of relief to a lot of parents by Halloween. The former FDA well. commissioner and current Pfizer board member says in a best case scenario, the FDA will authorize the vaccine for young kids by the end of October. And most of the kids who Valley White's health pediatrician Angela Wiesenmeyer says the FDA could speed up the review for emergency use authorization. Although COVID rarely sends children to the ICU, she is seeing a slight uptick in hospitalizations. I think some of it is the Delta variant and the tr transmissibility of it. Um, I think also because kids now are the largest population that are not vaccinated. Dr. Wiesenmeyer believes in the vaccine and calls it safe, but some moms like Capri Dean still feel reluctant. I'm still not for it. Um, I don't trust it and I won't give my kids anything that I won't give myself. As for Saunders, she plans to take her 5 and 11 year old for shots as soon as it's approved. My friends are already rejoicing on text message at the news of today. Right now, about 50% of Arizonans have the vaccine, but as younger kids are able to get the shot, that number will likely go up. In Phoenix, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.